In this video, I'll introduce the production function and how we measure productivity. The study of economic growth can help us answer some really important questions, like why are some countries richer than others? Why do some countries grow quickly while others seem stuck in a poverty trap? And lastly, what policies may help raise growth rates and long run living standards? But before we do that, we need to come up with a mathematical model to help us think about these questions in rigorous ways. Just like individuals, a country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services. And a measure of that ability is productivity, which is defined as the quantity of goods and services produced by each unit of labor input. You can think about this from the individual perspective as the amount of output that you can produce in an hour of your time. Countries is defined similarly, but defined as per unit of labor input or per worker. To understand the determinants of productivity, I must introduce you first to a production function. In mathematics, a function is simply a way for us to turn inputs into outputs. There are lots and lots of different types of functions, but in this case, we're going to create one that can help us understand the connection between the inputs or factors of production in an economy and output goods and services. Our production function is going to be y output equals total factor productivity and a function of inputs, capital, labor, natural resources, and human capital. Like I mentioned again, we're establishing a relationship between our output, which in this case is GDP, and our inputs, which in this case are factors of production. There is a new addition, A. This A we call total factor productivity. And like its name suggests, it's going to affect our production function F and all of its inputs alike. We colloquially refer to it as technology but it is a lot more than that. So again, what this production function does, it, it takes capital, labor, natural resources, and human capital, and it combines them together, then multiplies it by total factor productivity to get output or GDP. An important property of the production function is constant returns to scale. Constant returns to scale intuitively means that if we were to double all inputs, output doubles. Now, what does that look like when we write it out in our equation? What that would mean would be that if we double all inputs, by multiplying each by two, that would mean that output would double. Now that can be generalized to any number s. So if we multiply each factor of production by s, What we should get is that output increase by that same number s. Now s could be anything. So if s was equal to 3, then all inputs would be tripled, and so would output. If s equals to 4, then all inputs would be quadrupled, and so would output. And this is an important property of this production function that is going to help us understand the determinants of productivity.
Productivity, again, is defined as the quantity of goods and services produced from each unit of labor input. If we were to put this in math, we would say that productivity equals to whatever we produce per unit of labor input. Now, from constant returns to scale, forgot an N right there, we know that we can multiply any number uh, by each of our inputs and be able to increase or change output by that number. Remember, we can pick S to be anything, so we can choose S to be equal to 1 over labor. If that's the case, what we can do is take each of our inputs and multiply them by 1 over labor. And what our constant returns to scale property would say is that this is equal to y divided by l, which in this case is productivity. So now we have a definition of productivity through our production function that illustrates how inputs, in this case, is capital per worker, this right here, which is B1, uh, natural resources per worker and human capital per worker contribute to productivity. Now that we have a rigorous definition for productivity, let's use it in this active learning exercise. So productivity equals to technology or total factor productivity and a mix of capital per worker, natural resources per worker, and human capital per worker. Each of the following policies are meant to increase or affect one or more of these determinants of productivity. So on top hat, please go and match each policy with its objective. 